Okay, episode 152. 152, we made it. You sound like shit. Well, if I didn't, my friends didn't fucking influence me to do drugs, then I wouldn't sound like shit. It says fucking Pablo himself. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, yeah, right. It's fucking Dow. Yeah. Dow, I know. Yeah, but we both got sick. We're both fucking way under the weather. Um, I got I I got sick too. I was sick Tuesday, Wednesday, today's Thursday, and I'm not feeling the best. You got sick yesterday. I got sick after we trained because we we partied hard Sunday, Saturday. I mean Saturday, Sunday. Mariah and I ordered this fucking just the shittiest food possible. Don't I don't know bring why, Mariah it into so it. good. And then we woke up and I did double caffeine. I did the espresso and I did the aminos and then we went and trained hard. And then I the got training sick. hard fucked us because we trained hard. Yeah, like I train. I I had hard rounds, like Monday morning. And yeah, then, yeah, that really fucked us. And you know what it was, dude? I don't think it was anything. I don't think it was the uh, the party favors Dal brought. I don't think it was. <laughs> I think it was making out with those chicks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it happens. You know what I mean? Anyway, growing up cereal was one of the best parts of being a kid, but I had to give it up because I realized it was full of sugar and junk that you really shouldn't eat. I've been trying to cut down on carbs, sugar, unhealthy foods, and realized I basically can't eat this shit anymore. But now, we got some magic spoons, zero grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. Also, only 140 calories. Tastes amazing. Honestly, too good to be true. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. Magic spoons is bringing back two super popular flavors, cookies and cream and maple waffle permanently. Oh, <gasps> When these flavors were first introduced for a limited time, they sold out extremely quick. Make sure you try this shit. It's fucking fire. That's what it says. Joke. But it is. It's fucking fire. Um, when my buddies were over, that's what I made for breakfast in the morning. I gave everyone a bowl of Magic Spoon cereal, and it was fucking delicious. Use uh, magicspoon.com slash sugar for $5 off, or just use code sugar at checkout for $5 off. Uh, all, the, all the fucking Jobins loved it. That was my go-to breakfast. Yeah. It's easy. It's a nice, easy morning uh, breakfast. It's also a good little snack throughout the day if you need a little snizzack. Yep. Shit's fire. Performance enhancing cereal. That's what they call one it. One cup. One cup has 13 grams of protein. Really tasty. Yum yum. You eat any more like? Yeah, I did. Sugar uh, Sugar made me his gourmet bowl of Thank cereal you. in the morning. It's his, uh, it's his go-to. Thank you. Damn, how you been sleeping? Like a beast, honestly. <laughs> really? Like a beast. I've uh, talk more to that mic there, champ. I've been cleaning up my uh, sleep schedule for sure. He's uh, probably because we go to bed at like we were going laying down like nine nine thirty. Yeah. Wars used to go to bed at two in the morning, getting oh, up really? at getting up at like ten. Yeah, it's not very good back there, but. So in Canada, you go to bed at about two in the morning. What are you doing at that eight, late night? I like. I'm a late night grind. Hanging out on I'm a 8chan? Late night grind. Hey, games, sticks, dude. Really? Yeah. Or the dark web? Oh. Huh. Nah, no, man. Is it? No, I, do. I, I just got a phone, dude. Oh, Private man. browsers is about as freaky as it gets for me. Ah, I love that shit. Dude, you know what I was thinking about? I was like, dude, you got to change that filter at your house for the water? I'm nervous. For my fridge? The orange yeah. light literally just went on like yesterday. Yeah, that's, oh, true. Really? that's true. That's true. That's true. Oh, so the filter was good. Yeah. Because I was like, good God. Why are you always worried about my shit? Worry about your shit. <sighs> my shit's cleaned up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my cold plunge. You probably haven't done that in a long time. It's so nice when you get that fresh water yeah. in there. Just because so like, I had that Schmidt sweat just sitting there. He got in there like all sweaty once. Because uh-huh. <laughs> I usually make people shower, at least yeah. if they're not too sweaty. You just, well, I was going to change the water anyway, so it really didn't fucking matter. You get that purple drink in there. Purple Ooh. drink tit. Yeah, that was good. Uh, dude, did you see that? Kyle's uh, GoFundMe was over like six thousand dollars. Fuck yeah, that's so cool. That was crazy. I really didn't expect. I mean, I had no expectation when I shared it. I'm like, mm. if people do, dude, everyone that donated, fucking is badass. Thank yeah, you guys. That's so awesome. sweet. Your oh, money's yeah. going to such a cool motherfucker and a good family. Uh, yeah. So he's balling now. Shit. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, like pay, crazy, dude. It's huge to see your guys' outreach. Like. You post one post about, hey, this is a guy. He means a lot to me. I want to see like this GoFundMe like do something. 
and then all your fans support it like above and beyond like Dude, all the fans real. went above and beyond for that and yeah. that means a lot that was sweet fuck yeah so how come you couldn't go back to canada more like so uh apparently you can't get a walk-in covid test at a cvs down here i had to book a covid test and then it had to be a two to three day test instead of the 15 minute one which I could take the 15 minute one in Canada and come to the States, but I can't take the 15 minute one in the States and go back to Canada. Mm. Well, Walgreens, Walgreens, they have the drive up one. You did CVS. Yeah. Right? Same drive up one. That's the one I did two days ago. Okay. Yeah. Did it come back yet? Or? Yeah, I got it back. I'm good to go back home. Tomorrow. I was negative too. I take, did you take one? No. I took the COVID <laughs> test. Perp got sick. Schmidt got sick. Are you serious? Everyone's sick. So dude. maybe, yeah. And they weren't making out with chicks. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, uh, Who knows, dude? Man. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's off camera shit, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> damn, dude. So we leave to Cleveland. Wait, you were making out perp though. Yeah. I'm right. <laughs> Wait, but we were smoking the same doinks. Yeah. Ugh, that's a uh, oh my man. god. Dude. Well, the, I think the Jobin party, first Jobin party, was a success. Everyone had a good time. Yeah, I think it was too. I think it was too. I think we we fucking partied hard. Did you watch the? Uh, you went home at like ten. I went home at 1.30 because your house That's is 95 degrees. That's a lie. I'm going to call him out on a yeah, lie. Thank Tim you. was out of here Before at 10 midnight, o'clock. Yeah. No, 1.30. No, I was what? sweating. The fights had just finished. I came outside. It was maybe like 20 <coughs> minutes. Said, hey, you didn't leave 10. at 1.30, And Tim. then he was I like, swear. deuces. Really? I swear to God, bro. No. I, I blacked, swear. honestly. I don't really. I don't remember much of the night, so I, honestly, I don't really know. I just remembered getting so mad you left. Yeah, I was I, pissed. I, I, remember, <laughs> I told him I'm gonna say bye to all the Twitch boys. I ain't saying bye to Shane because I know he won't let me leave. He said the same to me, Sean. He was like, "Just know I'm mad at you for leaving." <laughs> Who said that? He said that to me. I was, dude. I didn't want anyone to leave. I was trying to go hard. True. I was too hot, dude. I should have gotten the plunge. I guess I got maybe. the plunge when I was drunk. <laughs> Um, shit in there did you watch the jake paul woodley open workout at all i watched yeah warren yeah, i watched did. a little bit of that the other day i'm fucking pumped for that dude i'm yeah. so fucking curious how this plays out what do dude, you think tim i just think jake paul's really big he's a bigger weight class he's, than woodley it's he's like been woodley boxing up he's been boxing of course woodley's got a big overhand right <laughs> And like they're gonna, I feel like they're gonna be ready for it. He's been cocking that right hand up for three years. He might unleash it this Saturday yeah. or Sunday. God you never damn. know. So what happens when four or five of those things miss? Is that <sighs> over? Or uh, it lands and it's not like it's like he ate it. He can fuck. It's not yeah, ate it, but it, or like. I can don't you know. imagine if Jake Paul eats Tyron Woodley's best shot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would uh, that would put some shell shock in Woodley. That's for sure. Well, Jake Paul is what is he? Five inches taller. He seems way bigger. He does. I don't know. Way bigger, way longer. God damn, dude. I'm yeah. fucking pumped, dude. It's That's sweet we're going to so be there front row. Well, I don't know where we're going to sit, but. Yeah, it is sweet. I, I'm pumped for the trip. I hope I fucking feel better by Saturday. I think we will. Yeah, I, I think, think we, we will, will too. too. I get a little IV. Those IVs that they come over and give you, it, it has uh, B12, vitamin C. It has uh, a bunch of shit. It's so nice, dude. This guy, IV Medics, they'll just roll up to your house and fucking shoot you with the IV. Right in your you ass? Know. Yep. That's wow. Cool. <laughs> uh, um, you didn't listen to Schmidt's pod yet? Schmidt and Brennan? I did I did listen to it. Oh, so you just forgot when he called him Scott? <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear that part. <laughs> Schmidt Schmitty. called him Scott, too. Oh, yeah, that makes, that makes sense. Paul's 6'1", six, six Woodley's 5'9". All right. Damn, dude. The reach is 74 that bad. inch reach. There's no way Woodley has a 74 inch reach. I've watched him shadow box and I'm like, okay, this. Wait, what? That's not right. Mm. How, that's funny. Sono versus Zark. Sono. War. What a fight, huh? It was a fucking war. Both dudes never had any experience fighting. Not fighters. Like, you could tell they're both just kind of like, they're more lovers than fighters. Oh. Yeah. But did it for our entertainment. Oh, yeah. Those guys were entertaining. Dude. How, how old are you, Warlike? 24. Damn, you're 24, dude. I told what Jake were you Ball. doing when you were 24, Tim? I, was I think just, we were living in a apartment. Living in apartments. Yeah. Just fighting and training. 24 yeah that's crazy just doing the same shit but um Jana, getting older Jana. dude it's fucking weird getting older is it it is 
scary. It's crazy that I don't see how people can party so fucking hard. Maybe because it's usually we live a healthier lifestyle, but. Well, dude, it's been since with a fight. Eight weeks of partying every weekend for the most part. You for me, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I took a couple Holy off. Holy shit, dude. But Daniel said I'm getting better at partying. I was like, damn. <laughs> I know. That's I'm ready good. to fucking dial in. I'm ready to fucking go hard tonight. No, I don't even want to. Like, in, right now, I don't want to party in Cleveland at all. Yeah, I'm down. When just, I'm there, though. I'm down to just babysit you and. Yeah. I'm not getting fucked fun. up. You get fucked up and I'll babysit yeah, you. Yeah, right. right. Jake wins and then he's like, let's go yeah, to the same. Nah, not me too. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I'll probably go. I don't know. We'll see how the we'll see how the cookie crumbles is what the kids say. <laughs> we'll did you did you listen to Ariel and Tyrone Woodley's interview at all? No. It was it was pretty good. Is Tyrone pretty confident? Truly, you think? He's really confident. He seems very confident. I think when Jorge said that, I, I bet that gave him a lot of confidence, too. Mm -hmm. What did Jorge say? That Woodley's going to knock the fuck out of Jake Paul. And Masvidal was training with Jake Paul for his last fight with Askin. Yeah. Look at his arms. Tell me those, that's not... He got a longer reach than me. Does God he? God damn, he's so fucking fast twitch. He is. He's definitely way faster than Jake. But Jake's also proved that it can only take one from him, too. Like, he has that yeah. knockout power if he lands. But, dude, s stroking someone like Ben Askren isn't that hard. Yeah, but... The way he moves and how slow he is. Woodley was training with Askren for a long time. Yeah. Well, but yeah. Askren, he's got to be one of the slowest combat oh, sport athletes ever. 100%. Oh, him and CM Punk. <laughs> <laughs> CM Punk's probably got a little bit more explosive than Ben yeah. Askren. Yeah, dude, I'm 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 curious. I'm I'm excited for this fight, bro. <laughs> the the Paul brothers get me excited for fights. You can't deny fucking that. You just can't, huh? They know how to sell a fight really well because they know how to just get people eating out of their hands like pre-fight. <laughs> I think the press conference is going on right now. Oh, they're having another one. Yeah. God damn, this is showtime too. This is fucking different. Apparently, this was in downtown Cleveland. Well, oh, yeah, he was shadow boxing Southpaw a lot. I wonder why. I wonder if he's just trying to trick me. You can tell he's not like a natural Southpaw, when he, right? Yeah. Jay's coming to Cleveland with us, right? Yeah. And we're doing if a vlog for OnlyFans? Yeah, yeah, 100%, 100%, 100%. 100p, 100p. Um, Dude, do you watch Danny Duncan? Have you ever watched much of him? No. The Virginity Rocks, that's where that banner came from. Mm -mm. Dude, you got to watch some of his vlogs. It'll make you want to just kind of fuck with people more. Man, he just really. doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. So we're like, you you ever been through a bad breakup? No, not yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet, champ. No, I've uh, I never really had a girlfriend long enough to have a bad breakup. I've been with my girl for now over six years. Damn. Yeah. What was the worst breakup you and Danny that one time? Yeah, Danny moved out at one point, and uh, yeah, that was bad. That was tough. That was fucking hard. I've had a few breakups. Nothing crazy. Most were in high school. Those are the worst, though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because you don't know how to deal with your emotions, and you literally think you're world, like you're never going to be happy again. Those are tough. I can oh, only I imagine the music you were listening to in those Oh, breakups. Simple Plan, dude. Oh. Simple Plan. <laughs> Mine was fucking Nelly, the one where it's, uh, uh, fuck, what's that song? It's hot in here. <laughs> 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 yeah, not that one, Jim. I don't remember. Let me look. Yeah, breakups are bad. Dallas, you ever had a bad breakup after a couple days? That tranny you found out was a. <laughs> remember? A she that was a he. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking breakups are tough. I I like what uh I forgot who said it. I think it was a relationship expert. Maybe it was Esther Perel. But after you break up, after having a long relationship, it sometimes gets worse for the first six months, but then it gets better. Sometimes it gets worse, gets harder, and it's like, fuck, it's a pain in the butt. But then it ends up getting better. That was always <sighs> interesting. Oh, yeah, Belfort fucking Vitor, September 11th. We can't go to it, dude. Huh. We can't. I got to be done traveling. I know, me this. too. Me too, dude. I need to get dialed that back in. Did you guys have a seminar over there or what? Yeah, we got a in Cleveland? In LA. Oh, in LA? No. Well, or what did you guys, didn't you guys a say? Six you nine to go? concert. Oh, shit. I don't know. It's a hey, shout out, Steve. Steve will do it. It's his birthday. And Fucking. Oscar. Oh, shit, really? Oscar's birthday, too, my boy Oscar. Shout out the boys, Oscars, fucking Steve. 
Happy birthday. Legends. <laughs> this is, this is, did they have an open workout recently? I think so, yeah. Pretty recent. The open work. Oh, the Oscar de Hoya, yeah, they did one. 25th, oh, yeah. Damn. Yesterday. I feel like Jax would dot Oscar up. 100%. I would. <laughs> Fucker's old as fuck. Joe, Joe, Joe. Um, do we have some questions that came in, Jay? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna do a Jobin fights every dis- every after every fight. Really? Yeah. So in late December, maybe have have the boys back down. Do you have yeah, the uh, Apple? A little Jobin Christmas remote yeah, over there. Yep. The uh, do that into that mic louder. What up, Jobin's up. big ranger here? What up, ranger? Just Cogger. wondering what's some dumb shit you did in your childhood that you just look back on and laugh because you can't believe that you did it. Oh, I can't say half yeah. the shit. Give well, us something. Nah. <laughs> um, siphoning gas, I think. Wow, dude. What's, what's siphoning? Taking siphoning. gas out of someone else's car, put it in yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You take a hose, you put it in someone's gas tank and suck the hose until it starts flowing out and then yeah, put it. Huh? Yeah. But what do you do with the gas? You put it in your car? Yeah, Put yeah, it in your rig, baby. Buzz off. <laughs> <laughs> Buzz off, champ. Um, Some other dumb skip shit. Skipping church for me is probably the craziest thing I've ever done. <laughs> yeah. You used to do some bad shit, didn't you? You know. <laughs> War, yeah. though? War? For me, uh, I don't know. I used to really like getting stoned at lunch in high school and then going to gym class right after lunch. So wiggling? Like, uh, <laughs> no, I, we would just oh, get so high because it's like the first time you're ever smoking, right, in high school. Well, at least for me. Anyway, so we'd go there and we'd geek the hell out. But what grade? So what age did you start smoking weed? Grade nine. Damn. Yeah. What, that explains a lot. Yeah. yeah he vapes. Dude, too. I think you start smoking weed too young. I think he can fuck with you. I, I smoked for like six months in grade nine. Then I got caught by the principal. And then I didn't smoke all the way until grade, like halfway through grade 11. Damn. Jay, what's some crazier shit you've done when you were, or stupid stuff you've done? I don't know. I used to shoplift a lot. When I was oh, like, yeah. I'd go to the malls, get a little fit. Get a little fit. <laughs> get yourself stop. a little something, something. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Ain't nothing wrong with that, champ. Yeah, gotta look good too. Dow, what about you? Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah right. right. You ain't Fuckers still. Christian. Exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. I know there's some more real dumb shit I've done. Right. I'm trying to think though. Me and my buddy boxed with a strobe light and I fucking dropped his ass. That probably wasn't very smart. I power bombed my brother through an air hockey table when we were w- doing like fake WWE, put his ass through an air hockey table. <sighs> But that felt good. It was pretty good. Hmm. I was waiting for Schmidt to do that to you. I know. He said he was going to slam me all week. He didn't even get me off the ground. Nope. We, we rewatched you, his fight. And what do you think of that? What Dude, do you think we of actually the rewatched the fight and hear me out. Schmidt punches me once in the first round. Other than that, he doesn't hit me. He really doesn't hit me. <laughs> it was yeah. a close fight. He holds me down. I think the third round, I get him in the omoplata. So that's the closest the fight is to finishing. Mm-hmm. Second round, I unleash some decent combos in the beginning. Then he just lays on me. I mean, we did get a, we did get about two or three stand ups. One was inside control. Well, I did end the rounds real early. Just the second. So you didn't get finished. Just the second. I think the first two. No, we watched. did. You guys time it? Uh, not not to the T, but there. So you would want to go round two with Schmidt. Sorry. You would go round two with Schmidt. If I can gain some weight. You want to gain. You want to gain. What else we got, Jay? What the? What's up, Timbo? What up, Sugar? How How we doing, Jobins? My question today is, after this huge pay-per-view event you guys pulled off last Saturday, thank you. how soon do you guys think you could pull off another one of these? We'd love to sign up, come fight in Sugar's Cage, see what I can do. Got a little black eye from sparring my brother. Pretty fun stuff. <laughs> His brother's got a wicked laugh. Yeah. Rip some King Kongs and have a good time. Later. <laughs> so if we continue to do those fights, though, you're going to have to loosen up and not be so afraid of a good fight. It's different when it's on it, my property, champ. Yeah. So what do we do? Well, do we keep having fights? Just there's... TKOs. Just TKOs. If they're not defending themselves, you just gotta. I don't want to see them get knocked out. 
Yeah. You know how uh, everyone on that card was my buddy. Oh, for sure. I don't. For sure. Then what do you mean? I gotta loosen up. Let them get knocked out. I don't want to see anyone get knocked out. They don't get a, need to get knocked out, but a TKO. Yeah, no, but that's he, fair. But that's what happened in the uh, second fight, right? But no, it, it, it wasn't a TKO. That's a TKO, Doctor Stop. No, it was. It, it was. Yeah, it, it was an ending, but um, people are gonna have to get beat up. <laughs> There's in in fights, someone's gonna have to get beat Tim up. Tim wants blood. The, dude. the one. Well, no, we've been to a lot of fights in our life. I know. I think Probably that's... over three hundred. I just didn't want to get hurt. I was stressed. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it was your house. I didn't want to see anyone get knocked out. Yes, either. you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, but, did. but also with headgear <laughs> and 16 ounce gloves, you got to pack some serious horsepower to KO someone. Yeah, but it was True. hot too. Yeah. None, it was. none of them were in shape. True. <sighs> like. True. But if we continue to have Jobin fights, there's going to be a KO here and there. I want no one to. I don't. Anyone that fights, I want to have no experience fighting. Like they have to be. Oh, I sparred my brother in the backyard. That's fine, but he's got experience. Two fights now. He's experience. also shit. fought a UFC fighter and a grizzly bear. Yeah, that's true. He's his shirt says "In Still Defeated." Yeah, still baby. Never won a fight, yep. but he get the people want to see him. Mm-hmm. It's the thing. When he lost on the biggest draw you got, he's in the, the biggest Jobins. draw that we got on the cards. You can sell never. a fight. Did baby. you game you yesterday? I did. I did game yesterday. I've been taking like Dayquil. Trying to just fucking I took some survive. Shit, something. Fuck, dude. I feel like I've been so sick a bunch this year. It pisses me off. Really? You, you get, always get sick. You need to get back bro. to my old ways. <laughs> Do that louder. Uh, can you right? hear it? Oh my what god. I bet people are loving it. Coming up. Uh, I know Chael said he doesn't think the fight's going to happen. Like, for whatever reason, he just has a feeling. Um, and Nick's been out all these years. As you know, and Robbie's been active ever since. So, do you think Robbie's going to take this one, or do you think Nick can still pull it off? So guys, thank you. Dude, I can't believe Nick was 20 years old when he fought Robbie. I rewatched that fight yesterday I did too. morning. Hey, Jax, we go to the um on Instagram AJ Agrizam's page. Nick, 20 years old, just uh, walking down fucking Robbie was crazy. And it was weird how they described him in that fight because they described him as a jiu-jitsu fighter. Yeah. They didn't, like, describe him as a boxer. They thought Robbie was by far the better boxer mm-hmm. than Diaz yeah. there. Like, look at Nick. I feel like Nick looks really old. It's going to be interesting to see if he can keep up with the pace of the new school UFC. Well, it's going to be... I feel like it's going to be interesting if he's going to be as durable as he usually is. He, as Robbie's his, pretty old, too, now. Like up there They're probably right? similar yeah. age. Yeah. Like, How, is Robbie older though, or younger? Because Nick just fucking has to eat shots to do anything. He's got to eat shots, and can he eat those shots after those years and years of partying? Robbie's not the same fighter he was though either. Yeah, but he probably can still pack a fucking punch. We haven't seen it recently. True. And because who was Robbie's last fight? Robbie. Good question. Who was Robbie's last fight? Shit. I would love to see Nick come in and pull it off, but I feel like it might be bad night for Nick. When is it? Yeah. Oh, see, shit. Robbie's Damn. one in five in his last six. Only decision, win against decision, Cerrone decision. in 2017. So he hasn't won in four years. Hmm. Yeah, that That's cha- changes it. That's fucking crazy. Nick Diaz probably has a win more recent than Robbie. Who? I said Nick bro. Nick. He has a couple street fight wins. Who was Nick's, no Nick's last fight was Anderson, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anderson. 38, 38. Damn, Robbie's older than me. Damn, Robbie was 40. Was Holy shit. Man, that fucking win streak. I'm pumped for Nick to come back, though, dude. I wish he was like 32. Just the embedded, just all the countdowns, just all the content that comes with Nick fighting is fucking sweet. Yeah. Legend. It's gonna be sweet. Who's? <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I bet there's gonna be tons. Oh, uh, tons, tons. Of what? Comments. Yo, what up, Joe? Sorry. Uh, was just curious on your guys' opinion on like TJ talking all that cash money shit, <laughs> and uh, guys like Cody Samen running their mouths. Cash money. You know, talking shit burning sugar's cards on video to try to get a rise out of him oh i just wanted sugar and timbo's opinion on 
you know, what do you guys think when you see that? Um, would you guys ever entertain the Cody Stamen fight? I know he's. Uh, about ready to get cut. I think he's you coming off a mean? loss, but I don't think I'd love to see Sugar shut Cody that is. motherfucker up. I don't think no one does. Is he ranked? Barely. Is he on a two fight losing streak? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I looked at it again. Sorry, Chip. But, I think uh, he needs a win. Yeah, they got to do something. The, the fighters like that were that that boring and that much. They don't have a name at all. They got to do something. He doesn't have so a of win course, against a ranked guy. Yeah, like same bonus. He Sean. can't blame him. He can't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Chael, Chael said it best. I don't remember what he said, but he said it best. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a quote by Chael. Yeah, I don't know what he said, but he said it best. See this. Burn in a car to me. It's like I don't even see like he's I don't even see stuff like this. So you should just sign over his face on his card. It's like I wouldn't burn it. I wouldn't disrespect it like that. It's like shit. That's like half his paycheck right there. No shit. Yeah. A lot of haters, a lot of jealous, jealous people. But oh, yeah, that's what him? Chael said. That's what Chael said. What? He said you're you're just jet like yeah. I don't know. For me, I just feel like none of these guys are going about it the right way. Well, there's got like that's not you got to be either funny, funny works, funny, um, pretty much funny is the only thing that works, and that just they're not funny. Yeah, or just being a a bigger bigger name or having a big name. Meet me halfway is what Chad was saying. Yeah, yeah, be an exciting fighter, someone who brings something else to the table. Yeah, but realistically, like he'll probably fight on the prelims the rest of his career if he stays in the UFC. Well, of Much course. longer. He could be a good LFA fighter. He could be a good <laughs> LFA, maybe champ. Oof. Maybe LFA. one day, one day. Probably not. Maybe, it, but he probably is a pretty tough kid, but super boring, boring style. Yeah. You know, a hell of a fight would be him and Marab. They, they already fought. fought. Was, it it was awesome? boring as <laughs> shit, I bet. <laughs> No. Uh, I bet that was just a fucking <laughs> on the edge of the seat uh, yeah, barn burner. Barn burner. <laughs> Um, and then the TJ comment. I forgot. Yeah. The TJ comment. Oh, he said you had holes. Yeah, too many holes to become champ. So I wonder what holes he's talking about. I don't know. Like my nostrils and my mouth and my butthole. Like I have is it, is ear it holes. Grappling? Well, Uncle Chael. Remember Uncle Chael said, hey, you want to grapple, T- grapple TJ at Submission, on, Submission Underground? I said, yeah. And then he said, oh, yeah, never mind. He's scared. Huh. It's crazy though. TJ was talking about holes in your game, like a couple weeks after eating like fourteen flying knees to the chin, and I, having holes in his ass from EPO. Yeah, he, yeah, he said no to a grappling match because I have too many holes. Huh? Crazy. I have more followers than him, the champ. Oh, I guess a former champ. And that fight will happen. I'm sure. I bet you. Eight months, nine months, it'll probably happen. It's a sick fight. If I'm still fighting. <laughs> yeah, no you know shit. What I mean? I'm over this shit, champ. I got the Jobin community. I'm I'm good. Good yeah. with just being a, a host. <laughs> Party host. Party host. What's up, Jobin? It's your boy Pierre yeah. I'm in the sauna right now. I'm over uh, 70 hours fasting. You guys ever fast? You ever find the benefits of fasting? It's tripping balls. I'm in the sauna with a bunch of people right now. They're probably wondering what I'm doing. Uh, it's all love. It's your boy, Pierre, from Long Island. I'm kind of visit you guys. Roll with you. Looking forward to it. Just manning it up right now in the sauna. Even though those people don't know me. Fuck so, your question, Pierre. Looking forward to seeing you guys. Much love. He asked if you ever fast. Oh, yeah. Dude, I can't fast. I have like this weird fucking disorder where I have to eat. <laughs> I need to fast once in a while. I'll fast today. In Dr. Andy Galpin's book, he talks about like if you want the gold standard of health, once a once a week you'll do twenty four hour fast. But Let's try it, it once is a fucking month. hard. It's super hard, especially on your when you're training. You, you want to get the fuel to train so you can train for the next next session. And then when you have your day off, it's like, what the hell are you supposed to do besides just get some snacks? You just suck down a Zevia. Dude, I was thinking, I, I bet there's not very many people in this world who've drank more Zevias than us. 
I drink quite a bit. I, I usually have my ton. my fridge stocked. I drink two or three a day. Mm. I probably do two a day. Like especially when I'm gaming, sometimes I just sit on them. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys been watching any shows? What are you guys been doing? <laughs> Cocaine Cowboy. Is it good? It motivates me. Does it really? Yeah, I want to start p- pass uh, selling kilos and shit. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Jim. But it's actually good. Cocaine Cowboys, Sal, and fucking Willie. Those are my dudes. <laughs> you watched it at all now? It's on Netflix. Yeah, it's good, dude. You should watch it. It's it's fucking super entertaining. Just take a fat bump and watch it. I mean, <laughs> no, just take a rip, though, and watch it. I, I, cause dude, my aura ring said I was in bed for 15 hours Tuesday. I was so fucked up. I didn't even see war like all day. Like I wasn't, Jesus. it's crazy. My aura ring too, like my readiness is 50, 36, 40, like so bad. It can tell I'm sick as fuck. Dude, I'm so over it. I just want to get back to training and being healthy. And I'm the party and it's like, it's fun. It's but fun. then is it that fun? No, it is. Um, With the boys. It's, yeah, it's pretty fun. I think I say if you did it once every couple months, I guess. But I'm like, fuck. I think, uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna go to Cleveland. We, if we party, we party, whatever. Then we get back. Then it's like four months just <sighs> chilling. Uh, I don't know. I think it's gonna be good for me because once I get back into camp, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like, oh fuck, I, I'm partied out. Yeah, yeah. Man. Camps were fucking tough, dude. And I went through two this year, three last year, and fucking, they're fucking just tough. I know, I know. Just so much but just discipline. Like, just like you said too, the, where where we get the most growth is out of camp. Yeah. But <laughs> with the fucking fame and stuff, it's it's hard when they're like, "Hey, you got a table here," and they got bottles, and they got they'll get you girls. Girls will just be wanting that clout, and the chicks will just be all over. It's like fuck, <sighs> fuck for the clout, too. No, it's a I'm championship kidding, I'm kidding. mindset you gotta have. <laughs> that's Not the me, thing. Champ. Well, that's where you gotta, you gotta get everything dialed in. Like, well. I just would rather party and same. Watch it. I would expose a family treating their adopted black daughter like a slave and is being. Here, let me read it for the people to actually hear it. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to go up or? Gilbert. This is a Gilbert? Yeah. A, tr- a family treating a black girl like a slave? Yeah. What the fuck, dude? It's 2021. No, Tesla bot though. Dude, that <laughs> video you posted was funny. The when when Tim said the Tesla bot. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what they're saying. That that bot's gonna take care of household chores. Shit, I need that bot. Uh, can you give me a hand job, please? Oh, champ, chill. I wonder if Schmidt and uh, Perp uh like that their massage. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> uh, I'm well, I could be probably an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> I cough. Talked to Schmitty a couple different times. Make sure he's doing okay. He's hurting. He wants to come back down. Uh, everyone does, though. Yeah, everyone does. Everyone does. I need to just buy a hotel. <laughs> I literally need to fight in December just so I can buy the Jobin house for all the boys to come down. Dustin Poirier. What did that top say? It says Islam are probably the toughest fighter. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Oops. Islam probably beat Dustin. Actually, I don't know. Dustin's fucking good. Yeah. Well, Islam hasn't fought anyone in the top 10, has he? Uh, yeah, but just, he, just when Habib says that about you, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> well it's his best it's his best friend that he grew up with so of course he's gonna talk his friend up isn't it crazy to think that he Islam's looked, been knocked out in the UFC yeah has he looked that dumb he got knocked out in every he got fight? knocked out by, by who Adriano Martins oh shit that's what yeah. I'm saying Dustin fucking Dustin's a motherfucker dude cause Dustin sounded like he's about done with this shit though for real bro you feel yeah Dustin's just looking to get paid, so I don't even see him fighting Islam he's for probably a long, balling long time. Now. Yeah. For sure, he's balling. When, when did he get knocked out? Keep going. Zik. Ba- 
Adriana Martins. What the fuck? What year? 2015. Damn, he's been at the UFC that long? He hasn't been active. Damn. It's crazy that someone like him, though, doesn't get all this, like, you're not fighting anyone ranked. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, I wonder why. But it's a good thing that I get that. Because that's a tedge. And I like attention. <laughs> the Schmitty vs. Warlike, J Rob, JJ, Sono, Zarks on OnlyFans. Or we just got to post the link today. But it's all. It's, up. Up. it's going up. Damn, hell yeah. And the Fire. vlog, the first part of the vlog's dropping today. And then, or it's Thursday, whatever time people listen to this, Thursday. And then the second part will drop sometime next week. Damn, sweet. And well, then we'll have the another vlog coming out from. From uh, fucking Cleveland. I love when my nose is stuffy at night. Because usually I sleep with mouth, uh, t- tape over my mouth. Mm-hmm. Well, obviously I can't do that. My nose is stuffed up. So I'm just in bed going. <sighs> I know. That's nice. <laughs> Take a little fucking hit of some nose spray. Nah, dude. I don't yeah. put nothing in my fucking nose. But yeah, sorry about the fucking sickness. It's probably, okay. Probably annoying as fuck on the mics. Uh, didn't want to come in and do it, but we thought might as well just come Piece in and, shit. and I did. bust it out. Oof. So we busted it out. One percent. Episode one fifty two. Well, what what is like ten minutes? Or? Magic spoon. <laughs> Thirty six. Thirty six. We keep going. Are you over it? No, I'm no, I'm down to keep going. <laughs> Let's uh, talk about the fights this weekend. Yeah. yeah. Which ones are there? Which should ones be are there? It's the Ultimate Fighter finale this weekend. We got Edson versus Giga Chikadze. Ooh, I'm taking Edson in that fight. I think Edson. It's gonna be a good fight. Who do you got? I uh. I don't know, because I found out an interesting stat about Giga last what? week. Is that before his UFC or uh, Dana White Contender Series debut, the record of his opponents that he had faced was like 2-42. and 42. Wow. Like one of the most can-crushing records you have ever seen. Yeah. Uh, That's impressive. It, really it, bad. It really is. Uh, I'm taking Edson for sure. I think Edson might pull it off, but I'm not going to count. We pull up that whole card. Giga. And that's this weekend? That's this weekend. So sad. Oh, we'll, we'll probably watch it in Cleveland. Probably not. The thing, <laughs> the thing is, if you're coming up, it's smart to get those fights, dude. Is it smart to just fight the toughest guys? No, fuck no. no, no I'm 5-13. No, I, I fought the toughest guys, though. Ha! <laughs> Lost and I'm him. making 500 bucks. Or I'm going to get to 8-0 and fighting cans, and now I can make real paydays, and now I can get a shot at the I'm UFC. I'm 14-0 fighting, fighting cans, champ. You see Chris got a fight, the kid I fought? Yeah. yeah, he's fighting October something versus a flyweight coming up to bantamweight. It's good they gave him a good fight. Yeah, yeah. I was curious. So the Ricky, Tur- so Ricky Tercios versus Brady H- He stand. That's the bantamweight uh, Ultimate Fighter finale right there. Ricky Tercios, Dana White Contender Series alum. He did not get a contract. Oh, Kevin Lee with Daniel Rodriguez. That's a good fight. Um, Ma- what Mario. did Mario pull out? You said Mario pulled out. Did Versus you know that? Uh uh-uh. Yeah, that fight's not happening. Do you know? Do you know? Did it say why? No. Damn, dude, that fucking sucks. It's a good fight for Mario. Oh, Tim's fighting this weekend versus Wellington Terman. Oh, down oh there. damn! Well, let's go. You fight even though you sick him. Yeah, <laughs> you're done. <laughs> All right, that's it for episode. Shit, this <laughs> <actually say. laughs> uh, Who's Edson? Last fight? Did he knock someone out? Look really good. Sharp. Uh, yeah, he beat Shane Burgos. Oh yeah, that, that was, was impressive. That, weird that was knockout, impressive. Yeah. Oh yeah, we hit him. Then like ten minutes later, went yeah. down. It's actually a pretty sweet card. This it weekend. is a good card. We'll probably just be chilling in the hotel Saturday. Yeah, we'll let's keep it, it low key. Dude, I I <laughs> cannot party. I'm sick as fuck. I'm sick too, and I can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You I'll watch you. Now, but... No, champ. Saturday once we land in Cleveland, and there's some big booty hoes uh, twerking up on that ass, champ. Yeah, right. <laughs> God willing, God willing. Shit. <laughs> and I'm just blowing my nose. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Let's just keep it low key. Let's just keep it low key. Me and Jay will be low key. <laughs> yeah, right, Jim. I'm always the one just trying to keep it low key, and you guys influence me. Oh, yeah. I hate when that happens. What time are we even leaving? I don't even know. Dude. Like 10 in the morning, Saturday. Like a 17 hour flight. I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. I'm over a lot of shit lately. <laughs> Party of mate, one of them, no. Supposedly, Daniel went pretty hard at the, uh, Saturday night. He was trying to get you black-blacked. Da- dude, I don't... Even Warren was like, dude, Daniel was funny. Daniel was like, 
Bunny and me and so cool. I don't remember. Like, it sucks, dude. He chugged bong water. Yeah, he was no. too busy kicking every empty can off the table. Not empty. They were just full, too. The bong that. That's probably what I'm per- sick. Ugh. Ugh. I don't. Dude, getting Schmitt. that fucked up isn't fun because you don't remember anything. I think it's a good thing you didn't remember that part. That- I didn't remember until Tim told me, and now I have flashbacks of it. <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was fun, though. I mean, shit. Pong. It's a nice little house uh, party house, though. I had the outside, the fucking pongs. Tons of places to just sneak off to. What are you talking? Oh what are you talking about, champ? <laughs> <laughs> the upstairs, the on the on top of the garage. Mm. That was my spot, champ. I own that. Up and looking at the moon, just fucking meditating. You see, Habib, Ring Girls are the most useless people in martial arts. It's like, Habib, let that mind wander a little bit. No, <laughs> no, can't let that mind wander. Ring Girls are more useful than the refs. And I wonder what the ring girls had to say about I that. I feel like Habib's just like saying some stupid, not stupid, it's just like saying some controversial shit now. It's cause. Just it's cause. Or he's like doing more interviews or something. Yeah, more time. yeah I like ring girls. They make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. Probably be one for Halloween, to be honest. Little ring girl. Yeah. We were supposed to have ring girls at our fight, but I kept forgetting to introduce them and have them walk around. I was too stressed. Tim can be Mike Beltron for Halloween. Well, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. I would. I would, I would. Tim's I would. over. Are you game today? Or are you just going to go home and fucking just... Dude, I might just go home and lay down. I fucking got to get over this. Dude, my, is your body sore? It's just sweating constantly. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it's not my house. Maybe it's just you, champ. I've I had multiple people saying how hot your house was, dude. It's the air is a seventy five. Like, what's five. yours at seventy? <laughs> dude, I think it's you've always had an issue though with being just hot. You've yeah. always said that. Yeah, yeah. And now you're trying to put it burn my APS. Did you down. see perp, dude. Oh, perp lost probably forty pounds that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, don't remind us. <laughs> he didn't stop sweating uh, once. Dude, that's not my house. Maybe that's your guys' weight issues. Dude, Perp and Schmidt had a sweat towel with them 24 7. <laughs> and that is not cap. No, that is it's not. On the chair. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's, it is hot in here, though. You are sweating, Jim. <laughs> Toss some shit to sweat no. towel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tim not having it today, too. God, when you're healthy versus being sick, dude, it's just so much fucking... Being sick sucks. It's just bullshit. Yeah. For real. It is. But it could be worse. could have four kids that I need to take care of. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with that, champ? That would suck. That would suck. That honestly worse. would suck. Uh, Connor's been going crazy on Twitter. I love it. I enjoy it. I do too. I'd rather him be going crazy than not. Yeah, than donating money to charity. And I stuff. know. It's like, don't do that. Shit's stupid. <laughs> jokes, 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 jokes. <laughs> yeah, so that's about it. Twitch fam, YouTube fam. Warlike and I are going to go play some Call of Duty. Um, Off to Canada tomorrow. Warheads back to Canada and Adia. Uh, he still vapes. Warlike is officially 0-2 as a professional fighter. And were your, still, baby, and still. Were your lungs pushed at all? Or No, actually, I was saying to Sean, like, I felt pretty good, except, like, the end of the third, once, like, we got us up at the end. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking... Bro, <laughs> you're about to fucking die. You <laughs> needed that fight to end. end. No, that is Dunning-Kruger the right end. there. No, I said at the after the first round, like, going to the second, I still felt good. Like, I felt a lot better than when we fought last time. <laughs> after the third, were you ready to rumble two more? Yeah. If you gave me 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, remember when you sent me... Dude, a, a leaked photo of her tit of Paige. Yeah, that was so. It sucks sweet. for girls that OnlyFans is getting rid of all their crazy oh, shit. No, they they're suspended that. They took, they're gonna bring it back. They're yeah. Gonna... So all the triple X stuff's coming yeah. back. Like, oh, what happened? Yeah. Like just recently? I guess a bunch of people were like, "Yo, like, you know, like yeah. wow." So I can post yeah. a little P, a little DP. <laughs> Damn, fuck yeah, sweet. 
All right, episode 152, sponsored by Magic Spoon. See you guys next week. Peace. Bye.